Hello everyone, Chamancin here. Okay, so for mission 8 on Hack This Site, uh, it will test you on your knowledge of server-side includes. So, um, with server-side includes, uh, that means that we've stepped up our game. We're no longer dealing with HTML uh, only, so, uh, or, sorry, the HTML PHP combo. Um, so, as you know, um, HTML is completely executed by the client, uh, not the server. So that's why uh, we have been able to inject HTML codes directly into the browser up until now to be able to uh, circumvent uh, some of the security measures that um, uh, Security Sam in this, you know, this website has. Uh, and so now with server-side execution, that is not the same. So server-side execution, uh, you cannot just edit, let's say, the HTML file, uh, or sorry, the HTML code and expect the same result because the server has, has the uh, file that it's going to execute. So you can't really edit the file uh, locally in your machine. You'd have to have access to the server. But there are um, exploits if you're not careful on here that again this goes right down to input validation and all that stuff uh, that we talk about all the time and if you want to know more um on owas the osap uh, owasp sorry site um it tells you all about um server-side injection or quote-unquote ssi and um, it tells you all different examples and stuff like that. I love this site is more of like a cheat sheet because, you know, uh, when you're always relying on a scanner uh, and stuff like that, sometimes these little, these little things escape you. So I always have this handy. Um, and so the first thing that we're going to do is look here and read the, the challenge. So... Sam remains confident that obscure password file is the best idea, but he screwed up with the calendar program. So what happened last last mission, we were able to uh, attach another parameter um, during the execution. And now uh, and in mission seven, two parameters executed, uh, which allowed us to see what's going on there. So he's saying that Sam has saved the unencrypted file in var www hacked this site uh, HTML mission basic eight. However, Sam's young daughter Stephanie has just learned to program in PHP, so she's talented for her age, but she knows nothing about security. Um, she recently learned about saving files and wrote a script to demonstrate her ability. Okay, so. Let's look at the source. Okay, so we see that there is a action for um, the the post to go to level eight the PHP, and a simple button with an input field. Uh, so nothing, no real exploits that you can see here as of now. Okay, so the next thing is that this site if i let's see what the script looks like so let's say sean hit submit okay so here's the php script and it says click here to view this file and i see a shtml so it's dynamic html um for hi sean okay so dynamic html as well as php and those types of programming languages, if you don't have input validation and uh, your your script isn't isn't uh, set up properly, uh, it is vulnerable to server side uh, includes. So server side includes means that I can inject commands into this input box, and if your server is not properly set up, it will execute those um, as part of your script. So let's see here. Let's use the list command and see if that runs. Okay, 
and hit submit. Okay, so now it says view uh, to view the file. Click here, and uh oh, so it does run. Okay, so now we're seeing all of these dynamic HTML files here, but this is not what we're looking for. Okay, because as the mission said in the first place, it's saying that it is in um, HTML mission basic eight. Okay, whereas when I executed this command, you notice that we are not in that directory, okay, because it goes to temp and then, you know, a bunch of uh, other SHTML files. So going back, we want to um, do a ls. So I did, first of all, the site does limit you. If you do ls-l, hit submit, it says, hey, yeah, we realize that, you know, you're on the right track. However, um, they've disabled that. But in the real world, in the real world, um, it, sh it would have worked. Uh, the ls-l command is just we're being limited by the system for security reasons. Okay. So what we can do is the ls and then traverse directories. Uh, because so we're in temp. Okay, the reason why uh, I, you know, come up coming up with that input is we'll do ls. So we are in here. Okay. So we want to traverse temp, and we want to go back two directories to uh, basic eight. So let's traverse two directories. Hit submit. Now uh, it says that your file has been saved and click here and voila, we have uh, three files, the index file, level eight, uh, the temp directory, okay, and this PHP file. What happens if we mission? What happens if we surf directly to this PHP file? Okay, so it seems that Sam has not learned his lesson because again, uh, we are back to using uh, clear text in a PHP file that prints out to the browser. So I'm gonna put that password, hit submit, and again, we defeated Sam's um, security. So, uh, one, one thing to read up on definitely worth a read is, uh, server side includes SSI injections and, um, what all that's about. They are very, um, they are very common still, uh, you know, and, uh, it's always as a result of, improper scripts, uh, improper validation of input. Uh, you know, for example, um, here, what, what you would have done to secure this is anything with characters, you know, for instance, I'm asking for a name. Um, we have special characters here. There's no name on the planet that has a special character. So, uh, we should have filtered those out, not allowed them in, uh, especially equals and, and, and quotes, stuff like that. You don't want, uh, in that input. So, you know, you would have definitely wanted to filter them out. And this is the same issue that happens with SQL injections and all the other injections, uh, usually are because, uh, we're not filtering the input, uh, allowed by the user. Uh, so I hope this video shed some light and uh, helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to visit my website, seanmancini.com. Thanks, everyone.